Nicholas. Dot moved in. Left it for Katsopoulos. Katsopoulos behind the net to Francis. In front for Katsopoulos. Well, it's, it's, it's first thing you got to do. Any hockey person sees a guy my size, they're, they're already in love. Like, I mean, uh, you're you're a big guy. You'll get as many chances as you want to prove if you can play the game or not. Whether you can play it or not, it's up to you. Uh, I guess my size has always been one big asset for me. I'm kind of glad I'm big. Uh, you know, beats uh, being a little bit small out there anyway. So uh, I, I think that's the main reason why people thought that I'd be physical. I'm, I don't consider myself a guy that goes looking for trouble, but... I, uh, I don't take nothing from nobody. I stand up for my rights and my teammates. I was a Toronto fan for many years, and I, I could tell you who was playing for the Leafs when I was three years old and who, who wasn't. Like, I could tell you what numbers were there, what wasn't. Uh, I was really into it. and uh, I started skating in our backyard. Like We had a natural pond that would uh, freeze over in the wintertime, and uh, my mom would put me out there, and I guess she, tell, she tells me now that I'd stay out there for six to eight hours a day, and I'd only come in for milk breaks. I used to go and get the snot beat out of me by guys older in the neighborhood, and my dad used to just turn me right back out, and uh, hey, fight your own battles. I had uh, dreams, like when I really got to the age of about 15, there was a midget draft in Toronto, and. Uh, I got drafted pretty low, but I figured, hell, I'm going to a team that uh, it's going to be first year in the league in junior. And I made the team and played the first full year there. And then the next season, I sort of got in a little trouble with the coach. And he, we didn't see eye to eye. And uh, I sort of got depressed. I quit. I quit hockey for a while. And I ended up playing a lot of you know minor junior league teams. And I really got depressed. And I actually quit the game for about a year. And uh, I ended up going to college one year. I got back into it. I got the urge again. I, 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 it was too, too much away from it. I couldn't take it. And somebody gave me a trial to Toledo. I knew I, knew I wasn't going to get drafted, but they gave me a trial for Toledo, and I made the team. Uh, it was a tough league to play in, by the way. It was one of the toughest. From there, I went to a New York Rangers training camp. I was invited out, and I did well enough to make an American League team in New Haven. And from there, I got my NHL contract. I played a full season in New Haven, and they signed me right after the season. I'd never been to New York before until I uh, went to New Haven. I went to New York once that year just to watch a game and just to see what it was like, and I was pretty impressed. Like it's a, uh, it is it is the apple as they call it. It's it's got to be the center of the world, I think. Uh, I I really loved it there. The city was good. The people were good. Uh, there's a lot of pressure there, like you say. Uh, you're talking about a team that's you know it's always in the eye of the public, like more than any other team in the NHL, whether they're doing good or bad. It's like there's the Ron Gays and the Barry Becks and stuff like that, and. As for Chris Katsopoulos, it was just like, you know, I was on the team, I did my job. It, it was, there was a lot of pressure there, though. I, I felt that I, I got uh, kind of like the raw deal there this year in training camp. Uh, but, you know, that's difference of opinion, my opinion compared to the coaches. But uh, I think it's turned out for the better. Right now, I love it here in Hartford. I think it's uh, the best thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, Career-wise, I get a chance to play, I get a chance to show some things that I couldn't do in New York last year. Last year in New York, I had a different role. I had to play defense and play it tough. Here, I got to do everything, you know, do a little bit of everything, help the team out offensively, defensively, and play it tough once in a while. At first, I really didn't like it that much, but he needs me to be there and not be off modeling somewhere, so that's fine with me. If that makes him feel better, then I'll do it. Lisa and I, since we've been going with each other, we, uh, we're really TV alcoholics. And uh, back in New York, where Lisa lives, uh, Rye, she has uh, all the cable and everything you want on TV, and it's great. You know, there's a guy on the team, one of the assistant trainers, uh, he's got all these movies and everything. And he asked me one day if I wanted to get a video recorder. I said, sure. And he says, I got all these movies, and I'll tape them for you. And I said, fine. So I go over there once in a while, and I pick up the movies I want to be taped, and I watch them. And I think it's great to have. I got the Three Stooges. I love the Three Stooges. I think that's great. Like I watch, I've watched that tape probably three or four times already. I, I don't want to play till I'm 40, let's put it that way. I, 
I think someday I want to retire in a nice sunny town where the, there's no cold. I got my nice cars. I'm, I, I, I'm interested in hot rods and stuff like that. I have a wife and kids and everything else and our dog, Bubba, you know. I do. I do I think about it a lot. I just, I want to be successful and, is, and get there the quickest, you know. But I know it's going to take a lot of hard work to get there. I've been pretty independent and I've done things my way most of the time and it's been successful. I'm not saying I'm right, but uh, I've been pretty successful this way.